a paradise of sandy beaches and idyllic villages. This island is also home to ESA's IZN-1 laser ranging station. Today we take a closer look at Tenerife and the Canary Islands. Welcome to Earth from Space. Located in the Atlantic Ocean, opposite the northwest coast of Africa, Tenerife is the largest of Spain's Canary Islands. Taide National Park, located in the center of the island, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and includes Mount Taide, which dominates the island. Standing at over 3,700 meters, its summit is the highest point on Spanish soil. However, much of the volcano's height is hidden. If measured from the ocean floor, its height of 7,500 meters makes Taide the third highest volcano in the world. Taide is an active volcano. Its most recent eruption occurred in 1909, when a lava flow buried much of the town and harbor of Garachico. Because of the island's diverse topography and unique climactic factors, Tenerife has multiple microclimates. This means that the weather can vary drastically from one part of the island to the other. Weather and climate are heavily influenced by the trade winds blowing from the northeast for most of the year, bringing humidity and precipitation to the north of the island, as well as to the northern slopes of Mount Taide. This effect can be clearly seen in dark green colors in the image, showing vegetation cover. Most of Tenerife's inhabitants live on the lower slopes, within a few kilometers of the sea. Around half the population is in or near the cosmopolitan capital of Santa Cruz de Tenerife, on the narrower northeast part of the island, and San Cristobal de la Laguna, the former capital. Other inhabitants live on the intensely cultivated slopes near the northern coast, where one of the chief towns is Puerto de la Cruz. The south is a popular destination where holiday makers enjoy the beautiful beaches of Costa Deje. Tenerife is home to ESA's IZN-1 laser ranging station, located on the top of Izania Mountain. This is the first laser ranging station to be made commercially available. It is here where lasers are aimed into Earth's skies, probing hundreds of kilometers into space, seeking out satellites and soon pieces of space rubbish, as well as measuring their positions and trajectories to prevent catastrophic collisions. This station, telescope and laser have recently undergone months of testing and commissioning and have passed their final tests with flying colors. This new station is operated as part of ESA's space safety program, protecting life and infrastructure on Earth and in orbit. <laughs> 